So here we are in the main menu of our Jupyter Notebook. And let me res that up for you. And what you'll see is a handful of files, things I've hacked around with. But as I said, we're going to create a new notebook. And if I, if I hit the new menu, it offers me Python 3 because that's what I have installed. Now this is a kernel. So this is going to start a new kernel in a new notebook. And I'll show you around uh, the notebook just a little bit. And the first thing to, to note that is there's, there's multiple types of cells. So I'm in a cell here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to a markdown cell. And I'm going to put double hash which makes it basically an H2. In HTML format, you know, that's a heading 2. And I'm going to say wrangle pitch FX data. And now, if I run this cell, because it's a markdown cell, if I run this cell, it just turns into rich documentation. And it gives me a new cell. It gives me a new cell below it. Now, a couple of shortcuts that I'll point out are if you shift enter when you're in a cell, let's say a equals three. If I shift and enter in that cell, it not only runs that cell, but it creates a new cell below it. If I control enter, it just simply runs the cell. Okay, and it keeps me in that same cell. Now you'll you'll notice something else. This number changed to two. So that's the order of execution. So this cell has run. I know it has run. And if I type b equals 7 down here, I know this cell has never run because there's no indicator here. There's no order indicator. But we know this ran. And in fact, it ran as the second step of what I've run to date. So if I control enter on this cell, it has now run. So I now have b. And if I say insert cell below, Notice the blue is selected, and insert cell below meant the cell below the currently selected cell. So now if I simply say print B, and I run that cell, it prints 7. So these variables are now in place. These cells have run, and I know they've run because of the indicators on the side. And I also know the print statement has now run as well, and it ran as the fourth step. So that's a couple of the basics.